Lime prickly ash is a mid to large sized deciduous prickly shrub capable of growing to 18 foot tall at maturity. The shape is round to pear shaped and it can either be a single trunk tree or a multi stem shrub. It is very common throughout most parts of Texas and may be found in a mixed community of browse plants or more likely along fence rows where birds deposit the seeds. It grows tall and wide so it may either be a standalone plant or it may be closely mixed with other species such as mesquite, black brush, granjeno, and persimmon. Lime prickly ash is considered a number two choice browse plant that grows primarily in upland sites with either sand or clay type soils. Because of the sharp cat-like curved thorns, livestock rarely browse it, but most exotics and deer species will readily consume it. It provides excellent protection and nesting cover for quail, turkey, and spawning cover. The leaves are bright green with a broadly leafed rachis or spine that connects the opposite oblong leaves together. The leaves, when crushed between your fingers, will produce an aromatic smell and it will be bitter to the taste. These two traits make this plant easy to identify in the field. The leaves are up to 24% crude protein in the late spring with mature leaves settling in at 18% and all have toothed margins. The flower is pale green with long stamens and usually appear at the stem tips. The fruit is reddish brown single seeded berry that grows in large clumps. Lime prickly ash is an important part of the South Texas landscape. It is a dominant plant in sandy soils east of Highway 16 and less common west but still important. The abundant seeds provide excellent forage for dove, turkey, and quail, and the prickly limbs provide nesting cover for many bird species. It produces excellent shade during the hot summer months and great screening cover for wildlife to move into during the daylight hours. The leaves look very similar to little leaf sumac, which is found in the north, central, and west Texas regions and has a winged rachis and is thornless. Prescribed fire will kill older plants and may kill younger ones. Chemical herbicides are effective against it, especially when applied aerially. Heavy equipment and moderate soil disturbance is required to remove the long taproot. This is a beautiful plant to have in your pastures, but it certainly can tear up your fences, so a real effort will be required to protect such an expensive investment.